but also the masses of the majority of the people. They're going to experience mourning as well because society is going to completely shut down like no other. Okay? Like there's going to be a great economic collapse all around the world. Because as you can see around the world, people are already stirred up in the spirit. Down there in France, because of the whole pension situation, and therefore you also have people protesting because they want to, they want France to get out of the EU as well. So you have that situation, and then you also have Yellow Vest, right? And then down here as well, you had a couple of scuffles that happened in uh, down the street. It's now Boris Johnson. He's still in peace on um, one, and now he's still in office now. So now what he's looking to do, what they're looking to do now is just to get England out of the EU. But let's say if that happens. England's gonna go downhill afterwards. You see, that's that's what's gonna happen. Go on, bro. In Scotland, that the protest yeah. basically are refusing Boris Johnson as their prime minister. Whoa, whoa, mm, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Not, not, you know, remember like uh, what's his name when uh, Trump won and they said not my president. Yeah, mm. they did the same for uh, for uh, for Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. Yeah, yeah. See, that's that division. That's that. That's that division. Yeah. So Kingdom divided against itself. Exactly. So this whole, this whole society is going to break down. It's going to break down. It's very clear. So when you get into the scriptures, right, and you, and you apply it to the current news, it's so, it, you can, it's so clear to see. It becomes so very well clear where this world is going. You know what I mean? So it's not a matter of it might happen or we don't know. It's a surety from our perspective because our eyes are open. Mass of the people, they're in darkness, they're just walking by doing as they may. And it's like our elders even said, the apostles. Because you have two main players, right? You have the elite on the left hand side, and you have the elite on the right hand side. And we're the elite on the right hand side. And these are the two opposing parties that are coming against each other. Because these two parties know the end or be on. They know the beginning, and they know where the end is going to be. When I mean by knowing the beginning, they know the history. We know the history. They know a portion of the history as well. Right? We know what the end is going to be. They know what the end is going to be. All right? But between these two parties, you have the you have the, the, the average person that's walking past that don't know a damn thing. They don't know their left to their right. Go on, bro. So Amos, Amos 3 and 7. It says, surely, surely the Lord thy power will do nothing but reveal if it's secret unto his servants the prophets. Right. So we know the secrets. We know the secrets of the, of the last days. What's going to before the last days? Excuse me. Hey. We got the inside scoop going, bro. <laughs> All this protests going on, but the Lord, man, is breaking this kingdom up. Yeah. Piece by piece on every angle, man. Yeah. Gradually, you know, too. Um, Economic-wise, <laughs> fucking the shit up. Uh, the average people out there, man, staring them up. Their leadership-wise, man, the whole Brexit situation, man, the Lord is breaking all that up, man. So on every angle, this literally, this kingdom is falling apart, man. It's falling apart. Piece by brick and pieces by pieces, and yep. you know. So they try to fix one side, and the other side is falling. Then they go try to fix that side. And yeah. Protesting. Uh, what's that, man? Job, the twentieth chapter, man, tells him, man, say they're gonna be in straits, man. Well, let's get that. So let's get that. You know, the word straight is what, man? It's, a, it's gonna be a difficult situation, man. Esau trying to it's not it's Esau trying to establish this this next step of, of their of their agenda in the new world order man it's gonna be um, it's gonna be very hard man. Oh yes. this is why there's gonna have to be constitution camps, there's gonna have to be beheading, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all, you know why? Because there's gonna be it's, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna know? be overwhelming and, and not only is it gonna be easy, it's gonna be so hard that they're gonna lose. They're gonna they're gonna lose the, the uh, to build this new world order. It's not gonna happen. Well, that's happening, man. Over there, they have to go and fight. send their troops for some goddamn World right. War Three somewhere. Right. Yeah, you know? yeah. On every angle, man, the Lord is fucking them up, man. You know? Thessalonians as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Go on, bro. So, Job, this is Job 20 and 22. In the fulfillment of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Mm. Right, the fullness of his sufficiency his shall be in straits. You see, so right when he's all about to complete this new world order, that's when the Lord is going to put a monkey branch on that bad boy and it's going to be done for. Yeah. And it's going to be a wrap. 
Like I like I like I like to say, this not this world ain't gonna continue on. This Roman Empire, let me put it that way. It's not gonna continue on for another 10 years, another 20 years, another 30 years. Esau will be lucky if he goes for another two years. That's right. Okay? Because it's looking terrible, man. On all angles, like the brother was saying, like you when you're dealing with the EU, all of these prime ministers, like for example, um Donald Trump went down to England, right? And do you know he laughed behind his back? Yeah, that's what I need. Mean. They scoffed at his ass, man. They don't respect him anymore. <laughs> okay? And there's a there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of um, division amongst these different government councils as well. And also amongst the people too. So on, on every sect, and even when you look at the newer generation, right, that came after us, they're more bugged out than ever before. Right? So there's no hope for this world, man. This world ain't gonna go on. It's clear, man. Super clear. If you can't see that this world ain't gonna go on, it's really because you got your head stuck up the clouds, man. Go on, bro. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. No, he wanted to say oh, something. Oh, so that's Yeah, so no, I was gonna say Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19 and 19. Yeah, I was just gonna talk You had that as well, yeah. Um, Another one is that uh, we disappointed the device of the wicked. Job five, job five, something, yeah. Or last one. Yeah, that's a good one. But, um, Catalonia is a good example of that, man. I'm Spanish, they're going mad, you know, they want their independence and all that. And uh, in that Spanish police, they're rough, man. They're beating people up, you know what I mean? They're, they're driving around and just seeing you and just beating you. You know? And that's just a taste of what's coming, though. Mm -hmm. no? that, uh, that zero tolerance, oh, well, that zero, uh, zero well. tolerance um, mentality is coming back, man. Yeah. If, you, mm. if you don't listen on first command, then that's it. They're just gonna take yeah. you out. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's why them niggas been getting shot in America, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your hands up! I got my rights. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. the nigga got sprayed, man. <laughs> and then the mum was there, like, can I get some water? Like, pressure, man. You want to get it's involved, be, man. Can I get some water? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> just shit his ass, man. I'm yeah, kind of his ass yeah, anyway, yeah. man. And right. he spat in the officer's face as well. Oh, like no, he, he didn't get shot for that. He spat that, uh, yeah. I think some of the spray was in his mouth. Yeah. So he spat in the eyes yeah. and then he got him back. Yeah. So, so the officer was saying uh, he wants some water as well. Yeah. You, can get, you can get charged with attempted murder, you know. But if you've got AIDS, they could just say, oh, you, yeah, they could do that, you, yeah. you've got AIDS, I can get you for attempted murder. And some people have been gotten for attempted murders. Because mm. that's, that's what you can do. Yeah. Give you give you AIDS. Yep. So like as well, I was watching a news report on, on Russia today, and they were saying in America they want to pass laws whereby police can arrest you if you annoy them. So it's an arrest. Yeah, yeah. Arrest yeah. Well, that's yeah, yeah. 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 Just yeah. to annoy them, not even yes. like to, not even loitering or anything. So if you piss huh. them off, they can arrest you on the spot. Because huh. Jake likes to pull out his camera for the time record that I think is protected, man. Yeah, 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 the camera doesn't know. always protect you, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's so often when they go board the cameras, but they still kick your ass and shoot you anyway, man. Yeah. And they take that out, that six months paid leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it moving. Get a bonus. You can't get, get a bonus. <laughs> You're holding the face, still holding it as well. Give you songs, um, you got, but you got a piece of it ready, right? Yeah, I got one. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, after that one, then get me um, Psalms. Psalms 125. Psalms 125. Yeah. yeah. I bring piece of that, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Matthew 12, he verse 25. Was reading, isn't it? Yeah, Job, Job 20. Yeah, let him read this first, brother. He was right. reading first. Right, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Psalms what? Psalms what? 125. Oh, hold on to um, what you just had. Yeah, go on. So, so back in Job 20, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Yeah. So don't, the, the fury of the Lord's wrath is going to be those ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's going to be the end result of this world, you know. But I mean, if you're in the if if you're in the state of mind of the, the, the majority of the people, you're not going to think that the world is going to end. You're going to think that it's going to continue on. But if you're in tune with what's going on around the world, like we are, you can see how clear it is where this world is going. It's so, it's so clear that you, you really can't make an excuse or find any other excuse to say well, there's a maybe because there's no you can't even make an excuse for maybe. It's just clear. You see? And when you read these scriptures as well, I'm going to say again, you can envision what's going to happen. <laughs> Go on, bro. 
So it says, um, and he sh and shall rain it upon him whilst he is eating. Right, so what is he going to rain upon him while he is eating? Get, get that in Psalms 11. You know what I want. Shall rain snares upon him? Yeah, but I want you to get yeah. another scripture. Yeah. Yeah. I think he can get it. I've got it. Yeah, read that. He's free already. Yeah, this, is, this is the third one. The, the third one. Call it, call it. It's the right one. Yeah, Psalms um, 11 and 6. Upon the wicked he shall rain right. snares and fire right. and brimstone. Yeah, right, so that's exactly what's going to be rained upon the system. The missiles, which will cleanse this whole entire earth by wiping away all of the elements that you see. Even the elements that you don't see, like the barium oxide, the aerosol, the aluminum that people are breathing in, that's all going to be dissolved according to what is the second piece of the third chapter. So the Lord has already given us what is it, the inside information, which is in the Bible, the inside school. So yeah, um, who's got what? Yeah, yeah, read that. Now. Yeah, yeah, still, you finished that. And a horrible tempest, this shall be the portion of their cup. Right, and what is the tempest talking about? The tempest is talking about that destroying wind. That you read in the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, that the, that the angels have control over. And that destroying wind is going to come out of those ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, which will blow everything away out of its existence, okay? It's gonna blow everything out, out of out of its existence, and that's what's gonna happen. You're going, bro. So, uh, Isaiah uh, 34 and 8 just says, "For it is a day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion." Yeah, and, and they're gonna have to pay for persecuting the prophets. We just read that do do my prophets no harm. I reprove kings for this thing. So once they pursue the prophets, the Lord is gonna get them back. You see? And then all of the other things that they have committed even against the majority of our people in slavery, they're gonna have to be receiving punishment because of that as well. But the Lord is gonna get them back because of the, the saints that he has persecuted. All right, go on, brother. Verse nine, and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch and the dust thereof in Slakia and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become a burning pitch. Right, and the land thereof shall become a burning pitch, and that land is, is America, which will be a 5,000 square mile desert. That's right. You're not gonna see it no more. You're not gonna know from what? From where California is, all the way up to New York City, or even Maine. That's where it's going. That's where everything's going to. And we do see the persecution coming. We, we know that that has to take place as well. Not getting away from the persecution. Because that has to happen in order for things to get better. In order for us to see what the Lord has in store for us, we have to go through that persecution. Now, how is Shine went through that persecution? We got to go through it. All right. Get going, bro. This is uh, Psalm 91. Start from verse 3, and it says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, right. and from the noise and pestilence. Now, now the brothers that remain <laughs> after the persecution, when those missiles are, are, are coming from above the sky, going towards ground zero, simultaneously, the brothers are going to be delivered. The brothers that remain alive after the persecution, or through the affliction, should I say. Yeah, go on, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, you know, you let him it's on. On. No, no, go on. You, you got more. You got more. Just one verse more. Yeah, yeah. And it says, uh, verse 4, He shall cover thee with his feathers. Uh, and what are the feathers? The feathers are talking about the chariots. chariots, chariots. The chariots of the Lord. That's going to cover the, the men or the select few of men that, he reprove, that's, that he's going to reprove kings for his sake. For their sakes. They're going to be delivered. Doesn't it say in the book of Psalms 35 and 7, it says the Lord, the angels of the Lord encamp around about them, that fed them? You're damn right. So those same angels are going to deliver them. These kind of men. Go on, bro. Uh, and under his wings shalt thou trust. And under his wings shalt thou trust. So Yahweh through Yahweh Shah is going to be our defense. 
because we can't turn to no other defense. We have no defense. The only defense we got is his word and also the power of the Lord. That's the only defense that we have, which the word of the Lord holds power. This is why they want to get rid of the Israelites off YouTube because they're feeling the power penetrating through their chest and it hurts. Yeah. yeah. All right, to know that a bunch of nobodies that you consider telling you that you're going down, that you're going to be under. Come on. Very boldly as well. You see? Yeah. You're going, bro. And I just add to what you just said, because um, you, you got the, the YouTube people them working, mm. what uh, brother was saying that they're, they're now needing counsel. For, <laughs> what? They're now needing counsel because they have to watch the videos. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so a lot of them are, yeah, are oh, basically man. bugging out for, after watching the and, and, and as you said, this yeah. truth, this word, sharper yep. than Hebrews uh, 12, isn't it? This yep. word is sharper than any two-edged sword. They're sure. yeah. divided through the, the marrow and cut. So a lot of them needed cancer, but at the same time as well, I'm, which I could do a video on it, mm. I, I've been personally putting up prayers on those people messing with my videos, you know, right, and right. some yeah, of yeah, the putting up curses yeah, on them, so. and um, I've been, you know, just ma mentioning that, put up curses on these people because you know, it takes a lot of energy out of me personally. It takes doing these videos takes a lot of energy out of me, yeah, and I don't like it, man. So I've been doing that. Uh, just, can I just relate this this scripture to it? Yeah, what you just said earlier about Psalms 100 and uh, 105. 13 says, when they went from one one nation to another. You just read that, brother. You just read that. <laughs> you just read it? Yeah, we're just, we're just reading that. I don't read it were, again. I'm on the roll. I'm on, I'm on the roll, man. He was in there. From one kingdom. I, yeah, I just went. I just went out. I, 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 from one kingdom to another kingdom, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Ye ye reprove kings for their sake, saying, touch not mine anointed and do them do my prophets no harm. Do my prophets no harm. And that scripture's been coming out lately, man, throughout the week. So that's the spirit. Because we don't really normally bring that scripture out, but that scripture is now coming out. Because it's, that it's now time for the Lord to, to get at Esau with his power. But afterwards, I mean before that happens, which, what are you going to have? You're going to have the persecution of the saints, which we are those saints. Uh, Salakia, you can imagine being Edomites, you sit there, your job is to filter through mm. these Hebrew Israelite videos. Yeah, I know. And you're an Edomite, and you keep coming across videos saying Edomites are going into slavery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're reading out the Bible. And, you know, when it comes to the Bible, man, a lot of people believe, man. Edomites believe by, it's just, you know, you have that, you wanna, you wanna, you, you're hoping that it's, it's not true, it's not true or yeah. there's a way out. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, man, when it's coming kind to of the scriptures, Everybody believes, man. Yeah. You know? And you know too, and it's got me thinking that a lot of those people that work on, that work for YouTube, they don't wanna they don't wanna go to work because then they have to hear what we gotta say. Or they have to hear yeah. some other kind of truth to say what they gotta say about where the world is going. But they're just confused, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so but either way, it's no getting away from the truth. The truth of the matter is, is when we step outside of the illusion, the truth of the matter is this society's going down. Yeah. That's right. It's going down. It's just no way around it. Going wrong. Uh, I also heard Another article which was saying that a lot of the YouTube workers are also starting to believe in conspiracy theory. So yeah, 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 I've heard about that too, yeah. So it's a balance. So yeah. on one hand, you've got the wicked ones who are like, they don't want to hear this and they need counselling, but then there might be members of the elect who get woken up by wow. the through these videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly, because you can't do nothing against the truth, but only for the truth. That's right. right. Go on, bro. Yeah. All right, this is Isaiah 43 and verse 11. I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me, there is no savior. Exactly, I am the Lord, and I'm, I'm the only power. And there's no, there's no other, uh, <coughs> what is it? No savior. Savior besides Him. So going back to what I was saying before, the only defense that we have, brothers, is Yahweh Shai. Right. And I say Yahweh Shai only because Yahweh is not dealing with us right now. Yahweh Shai is dealing with us. He's the mediator between Yahweh and and men. You see, so we gotta go through Yahweh Shai. We have the reverence Yahweh Shai only. And that's why I, I give, uh, what is it? I speak on Yahweh Shai more. All right? So, and when you really look at it, <clears throat> you know, from a larger scale, we have no choice but to overcome, but to go through the tribulation. All right, there's no looking back. Because if you look back, where what are you looking back to? To nothing. Right? You have to remember what your prize is, what your reward is going to be. Keep that in mind and, and Lord willing, everything, everything will be a, a little bit more easier for you. But it's still going to be hard. Anyway, um, so 
you go read um is that is that it on that? Yeah, yeah get Psalms 125. Psalms 125. Yeah, we have some new. Uh, what well, um, Revelations 2? Yeah, and, verse 10 in um, it. And 10. Yeah, you, yeah, get that. Revelations 2 and 10. Take this one off. Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which are which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. And who's the devil? The devil is Esau. These powerful people that control the media, that control the government, that, that, are, um, that are in charge of these police officers in different forms of uh, military, all right? They look gay. SWAT team. That's why they say police officers. Right, right. as soon as I said it, it That's manifested. Serious. That's why I always say, brothers, from now on, you gotta be careful what, what you, you say. say. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, read on. <laughs> be thou faithful unto death. Right, be thou faithful unto death. So as soon as we as soon as I spoke on the police, alright? One a pit. And it was in the it was in the midst of me reading the scripture here. Because these police, they don't they don't work for themselves. What do you think? Who who, who do you think they working for? They're working for the bankers. Because the banking elite, they create they create the laws, right? And they have to they have to exercise those laws. So if they give if, if they give the okay, if they give the okay now, look, we gotta arrest these people, and that's what they're gonna have to do. Yeah, they they can't resist the order, and these same police officers they're gonna be transformed into the SWAT team. They're gonna have SWAT um, gear on. They're gonna walk around with all these uh, these weapons, bayonets and guns and, and the likes. All right, they're gonna have all kinds of weapons to use against the people in our martial law. These same cops, they're gonna be transformed, wearing all black, the body armor galore, and they gonna go for the they gonna go for the kill. Get going, bro. They're gonna enjoy, enjoy it, and they're gonna enjoy every bit of it. Going, yeah. was it from the first one? Is it? Yeah, this. The, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. So we this is this is John the Revelator speaking on this, that you may be tried. You're not gonna put, you're not gonna be put into prison for no reason, or they just put be put in there. You're gonna be put in there, so you're gonna be tried. What is this saying in Acts 14? It says through exalting the disciples, confirming the souls, that through much tribulation shall we then enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So we're gonna be tried while we're gonna be in prison. Go on, bro. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Mm, you may be in there for two months. You may be in there for two weeks. We don't know. But they, um, but John of Revelator says 10 days because the number 10 means completion. So it could be a, a completion amount of, um, what is it, days. Which also seven represents, yeah, 10, rep 10 represents completion as well. Oh, okay, yeah. But also okay. seven as well. Go on, bro. And ye shall have tribulation yeah, 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death. Right, be thou faithful unto death. Because you might have to be put to death. You might wind up getting beheaded. But remember what it said in Revelation the 20th chapter. What, what did John the Revelator say? He said he saw thrones. Let's get that. He saw the ones that were sitting on thrones, something like that. So you gotta you gotta keep that in mind. So when you're in that 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 uh, situation when you're in jail, and you gotta go before the guillotine. Remember those thrones. Yeah, 20, yeah. It's Revelation 20. It's uh, uh, Revelation 20 and 4. And, it's, and I saw thrones. And they that sat upon them, right? Yes, yeah, okay. And they that sat upon That's them. That's all I want. That's all okay. I want. I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. So who were those that sat upon the thrones? Those that were beheaded. You see? It just goes straight like that. When your Howard Shai went on that cross and, and paved the way to die for our sins, automatically he received his glory afterwards. It tells you that in the scripture. So that's what we're going to get. So it doesn't really make a difference what happens, really, because you've already won. Even if we don't get beheaded, we still won. That's right. Yeah? Because we're the saints coming back. We're the same, we're the prophets coming back, the disciples yep. coming back, and we're going to go through the same thing that the ancient prophets of old went through. Yeah? It's just straight like that. It's just a rerun, isn't it? It's just a rerun, that's all. This is the book of Acts all over again. Anyway, yeah, so um, you had something to do. Yeah, Psalms 125. Yeah. First, first one? It's 22. What, what did you say? I was giving the priest a very cordial on. Oh, okay, okay. I'll start with this one. 
Yeah, that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion. Yeah, you could get that. You could get that. Yeah, get that. Yeah. Psalms 125 verse 1. Huh? They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abide it forever. Yeah. Because we're going to abide in the truth that abides forever. We're going to abide in, in the, the same wisdom and understanding that he, that he created this earth upon, by his own truth. So we're not going nowhere. So if we're not going anywhere, then our expectations are not going anywhere. Okay, because our expectations is written in this book. So Esau's doing all that he can do, and he's wasting his time. He doesn't realize and he doesn't understand what the hell he's doing, or what they're doing. Okay, they swear down like they do know what they're doing because they're in the power seat, and they've been sitting high on their horse for too long, and they're feeling themselves. They're not realizing the Lord is going to take what they got away from them, and we're going to pretty much wear it upon ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the end all be all. Okay? Go on, bro. A bit more, yeah. Yes, yeah. too. As the mountains are around about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people right. from henceforth, even forever. Even forever. So the Lord is amongst his people, even forever. What is yeah. it saying in the book of Joel? That's a beautiful precept. Mm -hmm. What is it saying in the book of Joel 2 and 27? Somebody get me Joel 2 and 27. So if the Lord is with us, who can be against us? Uh, you can get that as well, if you can find it. I don't, I don't know where that scripture is at. So, uh, Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your power, and none else. Yeah, so the Lord is with us, man. The Lord has been with us since 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 day dark, since he created us. That's right. So if, he's, if he was with us back in the beginning, he's going to be with us in the very end. That's right. As I like to always say, the past is a reflection to the future. That's right. Hey, when I was in hospital, he was with me. Exactly. That's why he's you're standing you. here right now. That's why I'm here, man. You know? The scripture says, um, uh, Lo, I'm with you even until the end of the age. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, he's the Lord, isn't it? Makes his enemies be at peace with him, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My so, doctor's an Edomite, but she did her best for me, right? She, yeah. she actually grabbed my hand when I was in pain and said, listen, we're going to get on top of the pain. Mm -hmm. She went, look at me. <laughs> she went, look at me. <laughs> there you go. And I was like, oh, oh. And she goes, we're going to get on top of the pain. And she, mm -hmm. she whisked around and she yeah. did her best for me, man. Really, that was the boss. <laughs> that was the Lord, man. That was the Lord. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. So that's just how it goes down, man. This is the reality, brothers. I'm not just reading this just to be reading this. Yeah. We're reading the reality. The Lord is with us. So, um, Go on, bro. Um, yes. And that's where the faith comes in, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, got... And the proof, of, the proof of that being the case is that we're here in this very cold weather when we could be doing something else. But we're very eager and enthusiastic to do what we're doing right now. Uh, and we find this very interesting. I got, I got one more verse. You know, uh, verse three. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Mm. Least the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Exactly, man. So once you finish work, man, you sever that tie with them crackers, man. All right? Because we're separate from them. All right? Mm -hmm. And you stay home and you get the scriptures and that's it, man. You're supposed to be a soldier, which means to be um, solitude. solitude. That's it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, go on. So Acts, Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in faith. And that applies at this very moment in time because who are the modern, who are the, those disciples? We are those disciples now, all right? We're no longer back in those times during the time of ancient Rome. We're, we're in the second Rome now. This is the second edition of Rome, okay? As the video that we done made, right? Called Rome, what is it? Rome 2.0. We're in Rome 2.0. So we're in Rome 2.0. The same thing that happened in ancient Rome is gonna happen similar in this Roman Empire. Hell, look at the buildings. Pan the camera on the buildings. Yeah. So. Even if you go to, Re what is it, Regent Street, where I just came from, those are the Roman style buildings, man. Right, the pillars are on Yeah. Just making more emphasis on where we're at in the world. What kind of empire we're under? This is an actual empire. Uh, location. Right. 
Oh yeah, right, 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 right. right. This girl, <laughs> but the spirit may lead us to move around and get anywhere. Bye. Thank you for support. I see a police by walk by. Not be has any attention at all. Yeah, yeah. So angels is. But you know what it is too, because because the because the camp is like so people like. They don't, I mean, if the camp was open, like if we were all standing up in the line, mm. then people would feel obligated to come up. The spirit would let lead people to come up. So it's all psychology. You know, when you surround the camp, automatically people are um, getting the sense they don't want to surround you. They don't come around. They like to fight us. Yeah. They like to fight us. <laughs> We're going, bro. I was just going to say quickly, because you're talking about uh, buildings and that, uh, and it being Rome. Also, when you know a, ki a kingdom, you know a kingdom on its way out, when you see an excess of uh, building infrastructure oh, and, yeah, yeah. and the sexualization of everything. Yeah. yeah. And that's all we see, sex on TVs and buildings everywhere. Man. Yeah. You yeah. know, there, there's like, I was on the train station up in the Midlands, uh, coming to the camp, and they're building like five new blocks near the train station, man. You know, come to London, just building, 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 man, because they're trying to revamp this city when they know it's all done. Yeah. What is it saying in Malachi? Yeah, he shall build, but I will destroy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Aim with four, innit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. So it says, um, so Acts 14 and 22, confirm the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most right. High. Right, it says that through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of, of the Most High. So it's, it's, a, it's well known what, what the mission is. The mission is to overcome all and also the tribulation. Yeah. You don't want to be that guy where you dwell for a while and then when persecutive arises, you, you're just going to turn back. And if you do turn back, what are you turning back to? You, mm. You're turning back to nothing. I got to say. Like what is it saying in the book of um, Luke? It says, whosoever try to save his life will lose his life. But guess what, the little life that you had, you, you didn't have no life anyway. Yeah, man. The truth, be honest, man, all we've been doing is moping and, and, and bitching, man. Just living a miserable life. That's all we've been doing. It's true. Yeah. Just surviving. Working paycheck to paycheck. You know? I got a quick one. Go on, So this is, uh, let's get straight to the point. And right. while you're at it, you're being violated on your t your television every moment of the time. <laughs> Go on, bro. Go on. And that's life? Come on, man. Give me a break. Uh, this is John chapter 6, verse 65. And he said, Therefore said I unto, unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him by the Father. Right. Verse 66. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. <laughs> and verse 67. Yeah. Then said Yahushai unto the twelve, Will he also go away? Right. And then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Right, to Thou whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Exactly. So that's the mentality that you got to have. You got to have the mentality, where in the house, where are we going to go? Like Peter and them said, because they were fishing, right, if I'm correct. They were fishing. So they told the Lord, where should we go? Because you're, you have the word of life in you that we can get for ourselves. So we might as well move forward with you. And that's the mentality, man. That's the, re that's the real mentality we gotta have. There's no going left, there's no going right, but going straight forward. That's the reality. I'm not just saying that just to be saying it, just so I can make you brothers feel better in that time, no. That's what it is anyway. Read that again, read that one more time, man. Right, so... Um, it's like you got guys that have came in the truth and said that um, they want to find themselves in the world. 